For all your gaming and computer needs, Box.co.uk has you covered. They have every name brand from every corner of the globe. They even have a great clearance section as well. So why not check them out in the description below? And don't forget to use code JESSE at the checkout for your discount today. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are reviewing an ideal solution for a value micro ATX build from MSI. The MSI B250M motherboard based on the B250 chipset from Intel's 200 series of mainstream desktop platform. Now having a PCIe M.2 support like its other Union Point chipset peers as well as natively having 6 SATA 6, 6 USB 3.0 and one SATA Express support. The base DDR4 support has also been increased to 2400 MHz from 2133, so there is a bit more headroom in terms of memory performance. As usual, MSI outfits the B250 mortar with a complementary software suite designed specifically for gamers in mind, providing simple to use performance enhancements including like RAM disk, the gaming app with iRest, Mouse Master, Gaming Hotkey, OSD, and introduces XBoost, formerly Game Boost, which was formerly Overclock GD. MSI has also introduced the Dragon Eye for simultaneous gaming and video streaming on the same monitor and DPC latency tuner for optimizing system streaming capability. Also included, which seems to be mandatory for gaming motherboards these days, is the MSI Mystic Lite extended RGB LED support via the onboard header controllable with the gaming app software. Intel 200 series motherboards are compatible with Intel Skylake as well as Intel KB Lake CPUs but certain features will only be enabled if the B250 chipset is paired with a Skylake 6th generation Intel processor compared to when a KB Lake 7th generation Intel processor is installed. Memory support for example moves up to 2400 MHz when a KB Lake processor is installed while a B250 chipset plus a Skylake CPU will be limited to 2133 MHz, even if the XMP mode with a higher frequency setting is toggled on. For some reason, Intel decided against overclocking on the 200 series chipsets, which really is a shame when the motherboard bags so much potential and already packs quite a punch. Even though you can push a little bit more out of your chip up to 4 GHz, it's still that little bit of extra free power which I don't think can be sniffed at. So what are the pros and cons? Well pros, it looks great, the RGB LED support, good audio, Intel LAN, M.2 support and Octane support as well. The only cons that I can actually think of at all is you know, not being able to overclock it which is, like I've already said previously, it is a shame. But anyway, overall, the board is exactly what you need if you want to build a very, very good, strong, and very, very quick and reliable budget system. Okie dokie, that's all we have time for for today in this video. So I would like to say a massive thank you to Box.co.uk and MSI for making this this build and video possible so thank you very much guys and I would like to obviously let you know the link will be in the description below if you would like to buy this motherboard I do highly recommend it and uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs down if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and maybe I'll see you all in the next video until then take care have a lovely weekend bye